Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today is part 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, I'm kidding. Part 11, General Assembly, we're putting it together. I'm talking about the super duper lab book, this guy right here, but we made our own. Right. In order to assemble, we're gonna need all the parts that we already made. The spine, the pockets, French board, every envelope, the board, the front cover, back cover, the big front envelope, and the flip out folder thing, right? Right, so, well, get your, get all that well together, because here we go. So, I decided, randomly, mind you, that the whole video is gonna be, like, segment, right? You know, first this, then that, which means it is gonna be able to give it time to dry, to do this, to do that, but it's gonna be all combined into one video. So, first thing first, we need glue. Glue and glue. We need front cover, back cover, and we need the spine. Now, for the spine, first segment, spine to front and back cover. If you remember, and I hope you did, but if you didn't, we can still do it. We wrote front and back on the spine, which is a very important thing because we don't want to start gluing things upside down. If you're not too sure, one way to check that out is to take one of your, let's take, for example, the first insert, right? This one here with the pockets. Check that it aligns with the first spine, and then you know this is your front right here. Okay? That's for a thing. And then this time write it down front, back. So we got that. Before we glue anything, make sure you edge the spine right there on the end because I don't know if you're gonna cover, but no matter how. How you're gonna cover it? I doubt very much is gonna go inside, except if you're really handy and then you get thing going inside. But I don't. So edge here and edge the bottom part too. Okay, you have to edge this. I mean, if you're not gonna cover your spine, because then it's gonna be a visible spine. It's gonna, it's gonna show. See this? I, let me start doing stupid things. For example, back cover, right? So if you're not gonna cover your spine, then yes, edge, totally, right? If you're gonna cover it, don't have to worry about it. Yes, yes. Front cover and back cover, make sure you make all that really smooth, you know, the inside of it, because as we gluing it outside, I am anyway, right? You are totally gonna see it. So you want something like really neat right here and edged also i don't know what you use but edge top as the bottom i mean get your cover done done if you cover it with fabric then you don't even have to think about that now as you remember we did that extra uh score line on both sides of the spine and that's what we're gonna use as a guide to glue the cover i'm gonna start with the back cover because eh, why not Right? So it's perfect. I mean, you know, it's perfect until it's not perfect, but it looks perfect to me. I don't even know which way I'm gonna go about it. This way or that way. Maybe I should crease it more. I mean, it's better to think about things like that now than later on when like, oh, I didn't do that. I should have one. Well, make sure you give it a, a good crease. I mean, it's gonna make your life easier when you're gonna Glue. For some reason, this side is better. I don't know why. Those are a mystery of, of uh, I don't know, life in the uh, crafting world. Okay. So you have like a good guide. All right. And am I glad I put front and back? Okay. Now, this is the back. Now, if you get something printed like I do, just, it never, you know, never hurts to double check, triple check. Everything is the right way because, because then it's glued. Okay, so first we glue the back. So me, myself, and I, I don't really care about what's going to be popping out here because I'm going to cover the whole thing and more. 
right? I don't know what you're doing, so just saying. Okay, so we glue, glue, glue. Are we scared? Yes. Are we gonna do it? Yes. Because that's the type of people we are. Okay. Shake that glue, put that glue. We're gluing away. <laughs> that is so exciting. Okay, don't be shy on the glue. And I mean, don't be shy on the glue. This is the cover, mind you. We want it to stay. I mean, as much as you can move, whatever is or whatever is inside, this way, this way, that way. Cover is the cover. This is here for good. All right, well, I think that's, that's glue there. All right, deep breath. Taking the cover and lining up the cover on that crease line. See, that's why it was a good idea to make a crease. And I'm good. All right, so we can stay here for the next half hour or we can take those dictionary that we have plenty and put it on top of it like so. All right, hold on, changing things. I'm gonna put this big one right there. Like so. All right, time for a coffee. So I got to say. So that's got to dry. Now, while you, while this is drying, you can attempt to do this one. But maybe you just want to wait. This one is perfectly dry. So we wait. This is dry, and then we do front cover, which we make sure it's the right way. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. See you for front cover. All right. So this side is dry and do the other side again double check everything is the right way yes i'm gonna go at it this way no actually i'm gonna go at it this way or maybe the other way around all right now i'm putting the whole thing upside down i'm just gonna keep it the way it is yes okay cool since so you get to be careful when you turn things around like like suddenly you know this and that I'm a specialist of the this and that. Okay, uh, last call with the spine. If there's something you want to edge more or darken or what have you, do it. Because after that, it's just going to be part of it. I mean, not that you cannot do it. But as I said before, why should we make our life miserable? So you have a nice edge. So you pretty much know what you're doing. You line up on that. Let me see if that one works. Yes, it does. Al perfecto. All right, glue, glue, and we gluing. All right, I'm gonna put that here. Put the glue, 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 glue. Ah, there we go. Here comes the glue. So that's pretty exciting because this is it. It's gonna be all done, done, done. If you're not finish decorating don't worry about it you're gonna see with the assembly i mean there's so much stuff you can do later on that you know it's no big deal as you can tell i didn't glue anything on the covers yet the reason is well you get to you know put it this way that way the other way uh, i figure the less you have the easier it's gonna be to move around if needed okay this here now I move the board so that I'm upside down so this shouldn't be facing me this should be this way yes yes Whew. almost did the unthinkable all right and we are on exactly right allegedly anyway okay now we go back to the book one here one there and we let it dry i mean if you can if, if you can afford to let it dry overnight really let it dry overnight because dry and glued on is a good thing so this is it when you're done with that you get your cover with your spine right and that will be like the very first part of the whole assembly thing cover on spine yes we're going places okay so front cover back cover it's dry now i'm just gonna make a small note here the back cover i put something on it which is exactly goes against what i keep saying that as much as you can if you can glue it on your ex on your board itself it is safer because it's on the board Every time you put a layer, it's one more chance that, you know, 
and glue, blah, blah, blah. If you're going to put, um, you know, a cover, well, don't pick the nicest paper you have because you're not going to see it. But make sure you really, really glue it. Like for eternity, glue it. Okay? So don't be shy on the glue if you do what I just did. Because then you're going to anchor the flip out board on it. Okay, this being said, this is done, this is glued, this is good, this is just like, oh, okay, look, this is what you got, right? Okay, now, you get to do the spine, but you see how the spine is, like, movable? So, pretty much, you get to do, cover the spine in two steps. Step one is, you want to glue this part here, never mind the sides. So, whatever you're using, you know, just... I'm using, like, fake leather. Um, make sure you have enough on both sides to go, but that I glue later on. That's how I go about it. I don't know how you go about it. Of course, you can put fabric if you want to put fabric. If it's really getting you tense, the whole spine thing, well, use tissue paper because it's pretty resistant when you put it with the whole bunch of you know, mud fudge glue. That's one thing. Two, it's it's easier to manage because it will go into the creases and everything. This is what I did on this one. I mean, there's so many options on how you want to do, how you want to cover the spine. But I strongly suggest... Now, if you're doing with two tissue paper, I'm getting totally sidetracked here. You can totally do it at the end because it's tissue paper. You're going to be able to you know, with your brush, put it wherever you want to put it, right? Because it's manageable, it's malleable, it's soft and wrinkly. If you do it with something a little bit stiffer, like I'm doing, or fabric, you do have to do the middle first. So, in order to do the middle first, well, you just take the middle, right? And you make like a little creases or something, so you get some kind of guideline, right? You take your cover, and you do have your middle right here, so you match this with that, kind of. I mean, it doesn't have to be to the tenth of an inch. And then you're gonna lay it flat like this. Make sure that your bottom and your top is aligned properly, which in this case, you know, it'd be maybe smarter to go about it this way, for me anyway, because I got a better view, right? So I got my center line here, I got my center line where here, and I kind of line them up, and that's how this is gonna be glued. So, the thing you're gonna do is put it this way here, where am I lining up? Same thing on the front, same thing on the bottom. And then it's going to be paste, 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 but just those one, two, three, four, those four edges. See, this you're going to glue later. You're going to give that time to dry and not move. And then after that, it's just a flap. I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, so here we go. It's it's not as much as a big deal that it seems what it is. But anyway, so again... Don't, you know, don't be saving glue for another day, all right? Just glue. Those four ridges. Just glue away. Put as much glue as you can possibly do. Because it's also a matter of pressing it in. You see what I'm talking about? When we flip it over. Okay, glue, 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 glue. I mean, you can, if you go a little bit on the side here, it doesn't really matter. Go a little bit here in that crease and on the other side here. See, I'm not, I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm gonna do that later. Whew, that thing smells. Oops. There we go. You are staying inside. All right. Don't glue it the wrong way now. I'm gonna line up from, see, I got my fold here so I can line up with that. Line it up in the bottom. You just want to put it in place. It's lining up. Oops. Glue. Glue everywhere. It's okay. You know, means that you put glue. Okay. And now, nicely flip it around. The most important thing is you kind of stay where you want it to be, right? All right, you take your bone folder, your whatever you have, and then you just press it in. 
And that's another thing too. I mean, you do that for the next 10 minutes, okay? So this way, you know it's in. Now, as I said, if you're gonna do tissue paper, you can do it whenever you want. Preferably at the end, because it's gonna be like nice and round, because it's gonna be full. And then, you know, you take your brush, your Mod Podge, and then you apply your tissue paper. And it's really, I mean, if you're sweating that part for one reason or the other, honestly, this is the easiest way to go about. It. Well, of course, I didn't pick the easiest way for this one, because why should I? So tissue paper is a good one. You can use cheesecloth, the same thing too. This is so easier to, you know, to apply. Like straight fabric is a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure it will still work the same way. I mean, depending which glue you're using, you know, I'm using this like, this is, this is the glue, whatever strong glue you have. Okay. Don't, don't use like, uh, I don't know, a glue stick. I won't do. All right. You just press it down really good. Cause I'm pretty sure you know this has got a, a tendency to, you know, because it's, it's articulated. So it has a tendency to go like this. So when you glue it, you got to make sure that it's going to put it flat on it. Right. I mean, maybe I'm stating the obvious, but you know what? You just never know. All right. So also, if you're new to this channel, well, welcome. You're starting with the end. So, well, that's one way to start anyway. And welcome. And thank you for subscribing because the more the merrier right right okay and now the same rule is gonna apply which means she's gonna take the big guys make sure it doesn't pop out and then you go and have yourself a nice coffee so all i got to say on that and i'm pretty sure it's all good in here right right okay we let it dry okay this is drying and now we're gonna do this the ring this is when everybody's gonna start to hate me please don't all right they look like they're not moving well as soon as you warm them up in the palm of your hand you will find out that they just go everywhere now whoever came out with the name jump ring for those rings had a twisted sense of humor i can tell you that all right you can do it with your bare hands Yes, you can do it with like, you know, specialty stuff like that. Or you can do it with tweezers. Now everybody's got tweezers and everybody's got at least two pair of tweezers. The reason being that there's the one which work and there's the one that doesn't work that good. So we always keep the one that doesn't work that good just in case we cannot find the one that works, right? So I know for a fact you have two pair of tweezers in your house. You can use those. Now, we're going to start with, okay, let's take the elastic French board, right? So, this side is the side which matches with the spine, right? And you know about that because you already checked that out 20 times and maybe you did like I did, which means I put the end on the outside with the old dingly thing so i know which way this is going this is the top and this is the right hand side just saying if you're not sure just double check with your spine which is drying right now and then you know you take it the right way okay before i get into everything and before everybody just give up on me this is the thing. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. As I said before, you do not have to do all of them. Okay? Yes? You're gonna understand why as soon as you start putting them on. You can narrow it down to four. If you think I can only make four of that nonsense, well then make four. Okay? Otherwise, just make them all. It's not that hard. And you can move it around so it's Okay, it's annoying, but it's not that hard. So first you take the ring, one of them, and as I said, you can do it with your hands. And you open it a little bit, right? And you kind of push it on the sign. I hope you can see what I'm talking about here. So it looks like this, right? Got it? Okay. You take that ring. Now this is when maybe you start with the tweezers. Anyhow. You pick a hole, any hole, right? And you slide the opening on the side of your board, like so. And chances are, it's gonna go in. You turn it around, turn it around. 
and that's when they start moving all kind of way that you don't want them to. Okay, and then you get the two hand ends facing you. So that's when you put them back to where they were before. You line them up and then you press them back together. Like so. Okay, I know you're saying, well, it looks kind of easy. It is easy, but it's really annoying because some of them, for some reason, they're just not going to want to do it. If you want to do it with the tweezers, well, the ring. Oh, my guarding dog is on. Take your tweezers. Right. I have so much consideration for jewelry makers right now. You put them apart and you open them a bit. Uh, not all the way, man, mind you, because, you know, you don't want to break the thing in two. Okay. You put it on this. I mean, this part, I think it's easier to do with your hands, maybe. You put it on the side of your board, push it in, and it is, for some reason, it's kind of like a little miracle, or maybe you have superpower, but it just goes in, right? Then you twist it back to the front, where you have the two ends, and then maybe you use one tweezer, you know, the one which doesn't work that good. All right, so come here, you. Oh my god. Okay, do you understand why suddenly you're making only four? Yeah, right. Okay, put it back where it should be, and see, I I do way better with my hands. I don't, I'm telling you, I have superpowers. Okay, and again and again and again and again, right? Until either they're all done or you decided you're just gonna put four. In which case, yeah, I'm not blaming you. Whoops, see, I'm telling you, once they warm up, they come to life. The thing is, it's like everything, you know? Then you start to make one, two, and then you get the hang of it. All right. Put it on the side, it goes in, catch it on the other side, put it, line them back up, and then, oops, press them together. I can tell already a lot of people are going to say, oh, I'm just going to do the string. In which case, this is good. You're going to have a whole bag of ring that you don't know what to do with. Come on now, it's not, it's not that bad, okay? And I did it so many times that I know exactly what can go wrong. Let's start with what can go wrong. You're trying to put your ring here, but it's like, oh no, I put my holes too far, blah, 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 right? Okay. Do you think it didn't happen to me? Oh, yes, it did. Okay. So what you do is you take your scissors and you cut a sliver, not all the way to the ring, mind you, but you take that little, you know, tenth of an inch, which kind of gets in the way. If that's what's happening, this is what you do. Okay. So you do... All of that just on the elastic board, on the other board, I already did, okay? I put one on it. They don't have to be totally hermetic either. I mean, once it's in, really, honestly, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere, okay? I put one per thing, and then you do the every envelope, which has got one, two, three, four, five. In my case, I can put one, two three, or I can be dedicated and do four and five. So that's what you do. You put one ring per eyelet. Also, just saying, in the case of the elastic board and the pocket board, make sure you put the ring on the end which goes on the spine. Don't start to put rings all over here. There's no eyelet. But don't start to put all the ring on this side and then oh it's not the right side right so you kind of double check that that's the first part of the ring good good then comes the second part wait so this is dry right and now we're gonna put rings on the spine now the reason we start with the boards is because if you decided to put only four ring on this side right well, then you line it up with your board, you figure out which eyelet those four are, and this is the only eyelet where you're going to put a ring. Yes? Yes. See how that works? So now, okay, you're going to need this, right? Matter as well. Make copy, paste it on the wall, look at it. You can also make a list of all the bad words that you know so you don't run out. Okay, just shoo everybody outside and just go at it. And then when you reach the bottom of the list, just start all over again. Okay, here we go. Now, this is a little bit more annoying. But 
Nothing cannot be done. Opening up the thing, twisting it open, right, right. Putting it in, and it just, I'm telling you, it just always goes in. It's really amazing to me. And then put it back in shape. Put it back toward the top here. I wish I could see what I'm doing. It's in. And because I decided that I was doing all the holes, I got my work cut out for me. Open it, pull it apart, put it on the top of where it is. It goes in because he always does. Yes, he does. Put them back together. I mean, line them up together and press them in. See what I'm saying? Once you start, I mean, it's like peanut. When you start doing it, you cannot stop. No, I'm kidding. Of course, you can stop. I'm just like, when it's done, you're just going to be like, you. I mean, it's like uncorked champagne and everything, right? Because this is, this is trying for nerves. That's for sure. Okay. Put it on, you put it on the, okay, I cannot pick that up, that up because it's going to go. So I hope you see what I'm doing. You open it, pull it apart. You put it on top of where the eyelet is. Now, see, this one, this one is kicking, man. This one is alive. You put it in. Now, I'm sure all of you have plenty ideas of how you could do it and this and that. Well, you know. Please put it in the comments if you get some magic thing to share with us. Now, if you opted for the strings, right now you're having the love of the century because you're like, yeah, I knew it. Yep, you sure did. Okay, come on. I mean, really. Oof, it's in. Gee, that one was not easy. Okay, twirl it back on, line it up, press it in. Are you pressed in? Yes. Take this, you know, it's like, you just keep on doing it. Now, depending on what your eyesight is, this is time to put glasses or take them off. See, in my case, I should take them off because I don't see really well. But, you know, I'm near sight, so when I'm close, I can see pretty good. See what I'm saying? It, it works. It's just, it's just annoying. I think the most, actually, if you think that's annoying, I think the next part... This one just escaped. Okay. Didn't want to be part of the fun. I think the, the following part, if anything, can be more annoying than that one. All right. Put it in. See, it goes in. Sometimes it just goes right in. You don't know why, but that's what... Oops. All right. And I'm going to do that and show you how to put this and that together. But you know what? We didn't do all of that to give up now, right? Even though we could, that's for sure. All right, and the uh, every envelope, I'm going to show it with the strings. Here we are. One more. One more. I mean, if it really gets to your head, right? Just like, you know, don't take it on the dogs, the cats, or whatever is around. Or just, like, take a break or just have a, well, maybe not coffee, because I don't know if you want to get more excited or aggravated than you are, but you know, just take a break. Say, so I do one ridge at the time. Back in, please. All right, see that? I did it. Okay, then you take your board right here, right? So now, first part is fun. You take, all right, let's say by now you are down to four, right? Okay, open it. This one is piece of cake right then you pick your ring any ring goes through it and then go through the other one okay tweezers come on you guys ha ah, see this is what you got get it i do another one come on this is fun right then i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna show you the every envelope with the string and you're gonna get like yeah you know what forget about it but it is so cool all right you pick this little ring, you go in it, take your tweezers, go inside the other one. My tweezers are getting mixed up. Come on, go inside the other one. Cooperate. I mean, the truth of the matter is, that's what we do, right? We just do those impossible things and we go crazy and it doesn't go in and we're doing it again. And, and you know, one day at the craft table, we're doing the impossible, right? All right, 
now we get two, right? And you see, that's what I was saying. They're going to wiggle. I mean, the more you put, the less they wiggle. And now we have three. One, two, three. Okay? So, here. Where's this one coming from? Hmm. You. So, you just... I'm telling you, I know you're going to say, I'm going to make four. But that's how it goes. So, at least you make four here. <laughs> Okay, you at least make four of your boards right there, right? And then you do your every envelope. Now, the every envelope, I'm going to show you how to do it with the string. And then you're going to say, what did you even bother with the... And yeah, I know. I don't know. I like to bother. All right, take the string. String. All right, so forget about that because we're doing the string. If you're doing the string, if you're going to attach your boards, your envelope, and all of that with the strings. You're just going to love life right now. Okay, so you take the string. Now, there is a little consideration that you get to keep in mind is the thickness of your boards and stuff you put on the boards and everything, right? Which is why you have three rings which give you room to move them around and flip them around and for example lay flat over the other stuff right right okay so we're gonna put strings it goes like this and i'm pretty sure everybody's gonna say i'm doing strings anyway so let's say we do the every envelope with strings all right so you take your string and you tie it once now, don't pull like, you know, just snug. No more than that. But then you need, see, you're going to need some uh, space between the spine and the envelope itself. Let's not forget, because the envelope is going to be like so, right? You want it to be able to be there, be square. Anyhow, so if you know some fancy nut, go at it. I don't, so you do it one, don't pull too tight, two, three, I think four is a good number, four, now four, let me see, you know what, we're gonna do five, because five is my favorite number anyway, all right, so we do five, five time then you put it in your board envelope or whatever you want to you know put there and then same thing you don't you do snug but you don't do I uh, you know forcing it you do one snug and you do two I don't know what I'm doing here, too. Here we go. Right? Now this one you tied a little bit. And then you take your scissors. And here. See? And then it's going to move and you get enough space here. So... I already know a lot of you are like, nah, never mind the rings, I'm doing the string. You can't, but... The ring is not, are not that hard at all. They're not. It's tedious, it's annoying, but it's not hard. And, I mean, once... Okay, you know what? Let me make one here. Because I'm not going to... Because I'm going to have to take them off. So, I'm just going to do another one, right? So, you put it in. I mean, once... You know, you see it once, you know, right? One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, put your board the other way. You go in this way because they match, right? You remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made sure that match. But the same thing with the the string being that way. Uh, hello. You're going to have some wiggle room too, just the same. Okay, you put it there. 
like we're supposed to be, and then you tie it, not too tight, then you do another one, this one you tie good, and bam, see? And same thing with the rings. If you're really getting annoyed with the rings, I mean, the Avery envelope, just put one, two, three, and then you're done. It's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. It wiggles, but it doesn't go anywhere. Okay? And then you have enough length here with five, obviously, that, you know, it's going to lay kind of flat. It is not... You see what I'm getting at. The more you put, the higher it goes. So that is why you need three rings. That's why you need to do five knots. And then everything goes right. Hopefully, anyway. All right? So that's for the rings. That I'm going to take off right now because I'm going to put... I mean, that's for the string and I'm going to put rings anyway. But you got it, right? That's if you tie it up with the string and you can use uh you can use the you know the one that you do your your journals with those right the wax you can use anything you want but i think that's a pretty cool look but this is a cool look too anyway just saying or you can use i don't know a little twine, if you like that better. Whatever you have. And yes, it goes way faster than the rings. But the rings looks really cool. But that looks pretty cool too. So I don't know. Whatever you want to do here. But that's with the string. That's how you attach it with the string. That's how I go about it. I mean, that's not a general rule, right? Everybody does whatever they want, but this is a safe way to do it because then if you just tie this from here, then your envelope is just going to be in the way all the time or whatever, although you're bored or whatever you're going to do. You need to leave room here between the spine and the board or the envelope or the elastic board, whatever you're doing, right? Yes, yes. So that's the string. All right, I did it, I made it, I used, oops, look at everything is alive now. I used the tweezers, number two tweezer, I did it. Okay, so this is what you got. Now, let's go with the nitty gritty. On this here, you're going to have your big envelope here, right, right. Now, if you think, I covered the inside cover, if you think you're going to put maybe a ribbon here and a ribbon at the end and tie it up on the side like that you do that before putting your front cover right if that's not the way you do well then you're good then you put your front envelope you glue it nice you put your books on top of it if you want to okay let me go with options here. Maybe you want just to glue the top part here and the bottom part and be able to slide thing under here. I won't, but you know, if you want to do that, you can. All right. So we got that. We got this board here. Then you already decorated those things. I didn't, but you know, it's a matter of, I mean, I, you can always do it later if you want to. That's what I was saying about theme and all of that. Those are, as long as you have the skeleton, the skeleton, you're good. All right, so you got first board, bam. And I put on every single one of them. So if I can, you can. And you see what I'm saying? It wiggles. So if even if your holes are not really, really in front of the other one, that's what I was getting at before. You got wiggle room, which is a good thing. Okay, you got your every envelope here. And of course, you have your mystery envelope here that you glued with the tag. When we're going to do the flip through, when it's going to be all finished, done, pretty, we can go again over all the details, but... This is where we be here. You have your elastic French board here. It's like this. And now you got the back cover. So again, the back cover, if you want to put a ribbon or a piece of fabric to tie it in, 
you have to do that now. If you want to put a closure here, it's going to go over. You get to do that now. When that is done, and I still don't know exactly how I'm doing the closure, so okay. But we go over it eventually, maybe. I mean, it's your thing. Okay. So, oops, I got little pieces of things flying here. All right, then you got your flip out board. All right, so we're gluing the flip out board, which you didn't glue anything on yet, right? If you did, that's okay, but just saying. It's easier if you didn't. All right, so we're gonna line it up right at the edge of the board, your back cover, okay. In order to do so, you open it, you know what, you can open it this way, half or full, because you can, and because you have room, yes, okay. So this, we're gonna line it up, because we're gonna do it to be right, where's my, oh, okay, I don't know, Does that flip up thing is too flipping for me. Where is it? Here. Whew. Okay. So, little folders inside like this, like that, right? Right. You line that up on the side of your board. In order to do that, it's pretty very easy because you go like this and then it's going to bang. So, you know you're in place. And then when you flip it, you're exactly on the edge of your back cover. Okay. So, if you want to cover... A little strip of what's popping out, do it if you want to edge it. I don't know what your inside is, right? Again, if you want to put a ribbon or closure of some type that will be on the coming out of the back cover, do it now, then put the board then. I think that makes sense. All right, so I know that I'm perfectly okay because this part, it's just going to be over this thing here. All right, so we're gluing, and when we're gluing, we're taking the, your big books, right? You're going to put your big books on top of it. So let's do that. Okay, so we are gluing the board. Gluing the board. Okay, you got a little bit here, a little bit there. You can just stay next to it, because then this way you get less to move, right? Then we just kind of slide it into place, you know, like more or less. Anyway, you ready? Ooh, this is scary. All right, again, let's not be shy on the glue. We need glue. Yes, we do. Okay, make sure you're gluing the right thing in the right place. Make sure 20 times already, but you know what? It's just like it's a piece of mind. Yes, is the big envelope background. Okay. I mean, it is so much easier to glue your board if you didn't glue anything on it. Okay? Just saying. Not that you cannot do it if you didn't, but, you know, it becomes like really bulky really fast. Come on, glue. This is the day that we need all of you on you being stingy on me. Uh, if you get, um, you know, the big double face tape, you know, the heavy duty kind, you can do that. I don't really like to use that because just in case it's not straight and it's like, you know, there's nothing you can do. It's there. It is just there. And that is a little bit too drastic for me anyway. But, you know, if you're good at it, you know, it's like anything. If you used to use double tape and you just like... The professional of it, well then, go ahead. The, it's a little bit different here. And then again, I have 12 inches. I hope you can see something. I got 12 inches of uh, book here. So, you know, it's really hard to manage both ends at the same time. All right, there is glue, like there's no end to it. This is glue, 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 glue. Okay, all right. We're flipping it and we're putting it down like so. And I am, ha ha, would you look at that? Okay, and now I'm gonna put the big artillery on it. Bam, bam, 
and then get on and do something else while it dries, right? So let's resume here. We got the first board pocket thing done. We got the every envelope done. We have the elastic board done. Now we're gluing the flip out folder on. And then pretty much after that is just fancy work, you know. You're gonna glue your little stuff in, add this on, take that off, whatever, right? Right now, we let it dry. And I mean, let it dry. Dry. Overnight, great. Dry. That it's just there. Okay. We're gluing the big envelope here. I cannot find the big envelope anywhere whatsoever. So, I mean, you don't need me to know how to glue a big envelope, right? Hopefully not. So you just glue the big envelope right here, centered somehow right over here. Same thing, if you think you want to put stuff in the back of it, then just glue the side and the bottom, but and there's so much places to put stuff. I mean, why would you do that? Anyhow, you glue your big envelope here. 